the cancer develops is there are some Treat cancer with food, reaction video, take two. Several different things that can initiate cancer, okay? Um, nutrition, physical inactivity, environmental exposures, and then also like gene mutations. So when we think about the fundamental part of the cell, within every cell, we have our DNA, okay? That makes us uniquely who we are. Within our DNA, what can happen is we may have something called mutations. Mutations, which are essentially changes or alterations in the DNA sequencing, can actually do several different things. It may be a positive benefit, that, gen that mutation in the DNA. Think of like natural selection, right? These are really good things that happen. It may have a neutral effect where it changes the DNA and how it's expressed, but it really doesn't do any difference. Or it can have a negative outcome, which is more related to cancer and other chronic diseases. Cellular response to animal fat and animal protein is everything that cancer requires. And on the flip side, it's not just like, oh, what do I eat then? I guess plants. No, the plants you're eating are so powerfully packed with these phytochemicals, plant-based chemicals. We prefer the word nutrients just because putting chemicals in your body doesn't sound good, but they are chemicals like the resveratrol in the skin of red grapes, like the curcumin in turmeric, like the epigallocatechin gallate in green tea, if that doesn't sound like a chemical. So these are chemicals, but they're nutrients and they are coursing through your veins, saturating your cells, bathing each cell like a, a little bathtub of nutrients that depending on what you chose to chew and swallow, is either screaming out pro-cancer or anti-cancer. And you know, it's called the teachable moment. And it's, they're very just receptive without passing any judgment or criticism of, I'm not at all implying like, you did this, like you deserve this, never, never. But time to wake up. We're contributing unwittingly to our own cancers, to our own heart disease, stroke, Alzheimer's, obesity, diabetes, depression, acne, all of it. In terms of animal proteins have the ratio of amino acids in the right proportion, it, a higher percentage of it is absorbed in our body. Therefore, animal proteins could generate faster rate of growth better than plant proteins. But the point is, later in, years, in subsequent years, it turned out that uh, why would we want to retain more, more amino acids? Because they grow cells faster? Yeah, okay, it might worthwhile during growth, although not the best. It grows cancer cells faster too. My favorite study to bring up to a woman in that position, you know, hey, you know, doc, look at me, I'm 62, I'm overweight, the damage has been done, like you're saying, and this is why I say, uh -uh, let me tell you a quick story. A study took 50 obese women, they didn't have breast cancer, they were just obese and, you know, not as healthy as they should, could be. And they did two things, they measured IGF-1 levels. What's that? Insulin-like growth factor. This is the big daddy growth promoter that screams at all of your cells to grow, grow, grow. Your brain is super smart. It tells your liver how much to make for the day because believe it or not, we have 50 billion cells that we turn over daily inside of us. So thanks to IGF-1, they get replaced. Uh, Post-exercise muscles need repairing. Your neurons in your brain need protecting. So IGF-1 has its role. But in excess, if there's more than the daily job for IGF-1, what's it doing? What's it doing? It made a child grow into a man, but if you're already all grown up, your hands aren't gonna get bigger. It's screaming at cells to grow, grow into cancer. Cancer, grow into the liver, into the lung, into the bone, into the brain. Grow fat, grow plaque, grow disease. And the only way to make an excess of IGF-1 is to consume animal protein or animal fat. And then the automatic cellular response is to elevate this massive growth promoter. And what can impact this, the DNA mutation is actually, um, so think about it for UV sun exposure, right? And skin cancer. The skin damages our cells, which actually damages the DNA at a fundamental level. And when the DNA is damaged, what happens to our cells, if you remember again, back to biology is we have one cell and it copies itself and mm -hmm. splits into two, right? Then the same thing keep hap keeps happening, two to four, four to eight, eight to 16, right? But if that initial cell has DNA 
damage to it, it's going to pass it on to cell after cell after cell after cell. And that's where cancer can really happen. The way that nutrition can play a role, whether positively or negatively, um, is that, for example, just like we were talking about before, heme iron, it's a pro-oxidant. It can damage the DNA of that cell. Okay, that's one way that it can do it. Um, when we talk about um, dairy more specifically, it actually can increase hormones. Um, and those hormones can really play, it can play a role in DNA damage, but also at the same time, we have cancer cells that are fueled by estrogen and so forth. And then, uh, you know, among the things it does is it changes all these mechanisms, you know, in, always in a way to promote more growth, more cancer growth, if you will could turn on cancer growth by feeding animal protein. We could turn it off by switching into plant protein or decreasing the consumption of animal protein. That whole concept of turning cancer on and off by nutritional means, mm. that's a big deal. Mm. That was a big deal. Mm -hmm. And what hasn't yet been done enough of is cancer. I've you been told that. a lot of stories by a lot of people in a lecture around the country. Uh, people come up to me up to me and I think they're telling the truth because they get tears in their eyes mm -hmm. and they tell me I had cancer and I did this and you know and they, they start crying it's quite emotional for them to tell you it says you saved my life or something like that and so uh, what they're talking about and there's a lot of that kind of evidence but this is interesting the establishment that in the research community they have not done that kind of research because that would kind of shake up the establishment I'm afraid uh, it's a different kind of research that has to be done. So the research on cancer that is not done because everybody wants to believe they have to have that chemo, they have to have this, they, they can't go against what the doctor says. It's sort of understandable. They're very vulnerable at the time they're diagnosed. Mm -hmm. So they do what the doctor says to do. Mm -hmm. And so we need more of good professional research. When it comes to protection, the biggest protection that comes from nutrition is truly found in plant-based foods. And I always tell people, especially my clients, like I don't have to teach you that fruits and vegetables are good for us, but what I do believe that is my job to help teach is why they're good for us and why they're good for us is for several different reasons but one of the biggest things is that they contain something called phytochemicals or phytonutrients phyto is the greek word for plant so what that really means is they're plant nutrients they're only found in plants and they have research benefits to show how they can actually help at the fundamental level and one of them is to prevent dna damage from happening and which is amazing is actually help DNA repair that has already happened. So I'll have some cancer patients say, well, Allison, I already have cancer, what's the point? The point is we can actually try to get those cells to be healthy cells again and get rid of the bad cells. It can also help induce apoptosis or cause that apoptosis to happen more appropriately. Mm. Um, and there's so many other benefits too. It can help prevent these phytochemicals can help prevent the things that we eat, drink, and breathe that become carcinogenic, such as um, smoking, right? Not that someone who's a smoker, if they eat a plant-based diet, is completely eliminated risk of having uh, genetic damage if they eat a bunch of plant-based foods. It can help reduce that risk. The only evidence-based way to eat to maximize health and to minimize illness, right? It's a two-way street. This. Testing, 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 testing. Are we back? Make sure we have volume. Do a quick reaction to that. Let's see, testing, 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 testing. Can you hear me? Testing, 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 testing. Okay, we do have volume. Sorry about that. Somehow going between. Um, Showing a video and doing my video, sometimes the volume gets a little messed up. So that's the idea. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Food is related to health, like diabetes and cancer. Do you feel like they are related? Do you feel like a whole food, plant-based diet can really assist your brain and your body? I really do. So consider looking into more of that. If you want to do a little more research on that, there's a few uh, good documentaries like the Game Changers is a good documentary. You can look that up. The Game Changers. 
Forks Over Knives is another good documentary to consider. Um, there are a few more, but start start with those two right there. And then, um, well, another one on the whole fishing industry, if you're interested about that and what's going on there, you can look up Sea Spiracy, if you haven't heard of it. C, like C, S-E-A, Spiracy, right? And that's it. And if I could be of any service to you, please let me know. I do have a free 21-day fitness academy. It's just all you do is you put your email in and you get an email from me teaching you something every day for 21 days. If you're interested in that, just hop over to fit.fitness. If you're interested in a complimentary consultation so that you can find out more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching, I have programs where at least I guarantee 30 pounds loss or even 100 pounds loss, depending on what your goal is. Um, let's, let's set that up. Reach out to me. Send me a spoke signal, anything you want. And let's get you and your health optimized. Let's get you, you know, the reason why we're connecting here is that I can help assist you with relieving your suffering because I really do believe that there is a lot of suffering from being overweight. We have, you know, cancer related diseases, obesity, um, people having to afford expensive medications like insulin and Lipitor, all, all these kind of things. When really, if you could just, uh, get real healthy, you could pr probably shake a lot, shake a lot of that. I don't know your individual situation, but that's what the consultation does because everyone's situation is real specific. So if you'd love to connect on that level, send me a text message or reach out to me through any of the means. Appreciate your time and your energy. See you on the next lesson.